Uh, oh my god. Um, V2, Fusion Core already. Uh, I realized that this one sucked after like building it once. So already completely back to redesigning the whole thing. Um, you're lucky that none of you had to deal with that. So, you know, you're welcome. Now I do want to talk about why, of course. Uh, so the V1 Fusion Core, this thing here, uh, the intent was to design uh, around any hub block. So float wheel hub blocks, uh, XR ones for the Canon core, um, and I designed a set of GT ones as well. I wanted it to work with anything so that there were like options. Um, and you know, the limiting factor of that is that the walls of the fusion core itself needed to like sit away from the rim of the axle um, because the float wheel one has like a little intrusion piece and I didn't want to mess with that. Um, so then, you know, this thing needs to have its own lids that don't touch the axle block and um, it also highly limits the amount of uh, access points. So I only managed to fit one cable gland um, and then waterproofing the outside required the badger kit. Because it wasn't actually touching the hub blocks, thermal transfer was crap. Like, once this thing saturated with heat, the cannon core just overheated uh, and the VESC sat at the same temperature as the cannon core um, because like there wasn't any transfer from this fusion core to the axle blocks to the rails in order to like radiate heat away from the board. Um, so yeah, the only transfer was just like the rim of the axle and it was just not good enough. So, uh, you know, drastic redesign because I realized uh, that I also came up with these a few weeks ago. So these are the adapters for GT rails from XR hubs. Hang on, let's think about that. Uh, so for example, let's say you have these delicious stock XR blocks and uh, you bolt this then to the, the hub block and then you take this and then, oh, it just clicks in and it just works. So as soon as I made these, I realized I don't need to make custom Canon Core XR hub blocks anymore, sorry. I don't need to make custom GT Canon Core adapters anymore. It's just pointless. Uh, and I can just, you know, stick to a defined set of XR based blocks for the Fusion Core, and then I don't need to make any custom stuff. Hence introducing the V2, which is so much better in every single measurable way. Um, this thing is gonna be, you know, fun to test. I obviously haven't put it through the paces yet, but we're gonna find out sometime this week. Um, obviously it comes with two XR blade, it comes with two XR based hub blocks. We got the left and the right variety. Um, and uh, yeah, so these bolt end to end on the Canon core axle and sandwich the block in the middle. Um, this whole contact area here is now thermal transfer directly to the hub block. So that's gonna help massively with heat because it's just gonna send heat straight through the axle out to the rails. Um, there are channels in the V2 hub blocks. So these things have gaskets now and that's gonna make waterproofing out of the box already perfect. You shouldn't need to use the Badger kit, um, but you know, that's still an option. Um, but yeah, this should just work fantastically from the get go. You can see that the gaskets sit flawlessly inside the hub block. And then all you need to do is take this, bolt it onto two M3 uh, insert points here. You can see two M3 bolts here. That keeps the actual center piece of the fusion core uh, you know, in place. And so those thread on like that. Then two large M8 bolts go on top and you know those just tighten the hub to the axle as per all the other designs. This one's taking a second to catch. So yeah, and then boom, done. That's installed. And it's a waterproof uh, XR based axle block with much more thermal mass than before. Thermal connection to the VESC inside, way better. Uh, thanks to that you know, increased surface area of contact, it's gonna be just so much better than before. Two ride heights, same as you know, Alden's design, um, except you can use these pieces if you want to run GT rails and these let you adjust the height as well. Um, there's a few more, Jesus. There's a few more things. So obviously there's the large M20 cable gland input for your battery, um, but then there's two, you should be able to see it, two extra insert points for M6 cable glands. So that's gonna let you install 
the foot pad directly to the inside, uh, maybe the push button as well, any other accessories that you want. There's now two slots there for extra cable gland input. Um, you know, I'll provide two extra uh, small M6 cable glands for you to install those. Um, or if you don't want to use those slots, you just put M6 bolts over them and then, you know, they'll just be sealed up. Um, yeah, so this is just enormously better, waterproof, it's going to run way cooler, more input access, it's easier to build, you don't have to worry about the waterproofing anywhere near as much. Uh, yeah. Problem is, I haven't tested it yet because I just got this today. So, um, you know, now I need to actually build this, but yeah, I will throw it up on the website as quickly as I can so that people who want this can order it before the end of the month, hopefully ship to them by the end of next month. At least that is the goal. It should happen. Uh, I'll keep everyone updated. Yeah, that's it. I am off my face on caffeine. Holy shit. Right, carry on with working on shit. Oh my God, run.